love science, yes we do. We love science, yes we do. We love science, science you. We love science, science you. When I say science, you say you. Science you. Science you. We love science, yes we do. We love science, science you. Do you see this? We're all stuck inside and they want to do science just like on Science U. What's Science U, you ask? Science U is a science camp for kids held summers at Penn State University. They get to do all kinds of fun science activities and experiments, like this one. Wow! Wait, this is awesome, guys! Look, look! There's colorful science in milk. And so. You're gonna get a plate, and we're gonna fill that plate with milk. And then we're gonna put four drops of food coloring in the middle of the milk. Then we're gonna take a cotton swab, and we're gonna introduce soap into the milk and see what happens. Wait, all the food coloring is running away from the soap. But what about the churning? The more fat, the more churning. You can use different types of milk that have different amounts of fat. We're doing skim milk. I'm doing 2% milk. I'm doing full milk. What do you think will happen? Try it. Yeah. See that? Milk, food coloring, dish soap. We can do that right now. Yay! Uh-huh. I can hear you saying, but I don't know anything about science. What do I do? Ha. I said the same thing. But you know what? Science U has a great website with lots of ideas and activities, and we're going to show you some right now. Because you don't need to know science to do science with kids. Wee! I've got a very curious kiddo. Oh. Waking up way too early and asking question after question. How much does Earth weigh? Will we ever discover aliens? How do flies walk on the ceiling? Hey, Mom, how do flies walk on the ceiling? Oh, I don't know, hon. It's upside down. But this could be a learning opportunity. Why don't you observe more closely, try to figure it out while I go get some coffee? OK. How do they do it? You must know the answer. Your mother doesn't know everything. But what do you think? I think they have sticky feet. Well, let's do some research. Yeah. With some patience, and a little coffee, my kids' curiosity can be a springboard for learning. Hey, Mom, they really do have sticky feet. <laughs> That's wild. See? I learned that you can learn right alongside your kids. And observing insects wow. is a great place to start. Today, campers are watching bumblebees. Now, if you look really closely at them, you can see the pollen baskets on their legs. That's all the pollen they've collected as they've been foraging. And now, here are some bee-watching safety tips. If you're going to observe bees, it's always important to let an adult know beforehand. Bee stings hurt. Will I get stung? Most bees will not harm you if you're observing them from a distance. Sit and watch the bees while you're quiet and still. Shh. Bees aren't too interested in people. They're usually busy going about their own business, collecting nectar for their colony. The bee may come to check you out, especially if you're wearing bright colors. It might think you're a flower, but it's not likely they'll sting unless provoked. So just observe with your eyes and ears. There's a tiny one. When you're observing bumblebees, you can see lots of different types of activity, collecting pollen, flying, sitting on flowers, even grooming themselves. Try making a chart and recording the different types of activity that you see. If it wasn't for bees, we wouldn't have anything. We wouldn't even have those beautiful flowers. Some insects start out as caterpillars, and campers are going to find out how they find their food. This is a caterpillar. It's a mandugal caterpillar. It's spongy. This caterpillar is about four inches long, 
and it's got deep V's marks on its side. If you notice the horn on its bottom, and then mandibles for munching. Use the mandibles for munching. Nom, 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 nom. These are very hungry, hungry caterpillars.